Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivory Spice. Yes, back at it again with another match reaction. And first of all, guys, if you're new to this channel, you know what to do. Subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share. Because why? Sharing Ivory Spice is caring. And, and for those who want to contribute to the channel to improve the quality content of this channel, you can always click on the link description and, and send money, contribute via PayPal, or catch me on the 8 p.m. Monday, obviously the following week, for to send your live super chat. But guys, your boy Ivory Spice is upset, he's angry, because it is Ivory Coast nil, Egypt nil. Ivory Coast has lost to Egypt. Egypt has knocked out Ivory Coast in penalty shootout. The hardest way, the most heartbreaking way for us to lose. And I was praying, God, please let us not go, go into penalty shootouts with Egypt. I don't want to go to penalty shootout with Egypt, especially with their goalkeeper. But although their goalkeeper got injured, still, history tells us so many times, 11 counters with Egypt. Now, has it's like the 10th time they have been victorious against Ivory Coast. Our luck against Ivory Co um, against Egypt is has been one of the worst things, guys. And I'm so upset and I'm so annoyed in the way we lost as well. Eric Bailly had a wonderful performance, at, but at the same time, I want to kill you. I want to kill you, but I love you because you had an, a man of the match performance. But wow, what a lazy, pathetic way to take a penalty. You have let down the nation of Ivory Coast. Because why? Ivory Coast won't be in the World Cup this, this year. They won't be going to Qatar to join everyone else. Because why? They flocked in their qualifiers. And this is the only thing that these Ivory players had to do to give to us for us Ivory fans so us so we can be proud and happy but no 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 you have to let us down one more time and I as I was watching this game guys you knew it you were sensing it, it was building up in your stomach all the way up to your brains and, and etc and you knew we will lose we might lose this game based on the things that happened and Ivory Coast especially in the first half guys where it was so damn slow, they were slow with the ball. Yes, it was a slow start. I understand that. Although Ivory Coast themselves had possession, Egypt themselves looked like the, the team that could score goals because they had more of the opportunities and more of the chances. And it so damn annoyed me. And even in the second half, Egypt again started off all brightly, all brightly, creating chances again. Afterwards, when Ivory Coast made their substitution, bringing all these players, Bogar Zaha, towards the end of the first half, yes, that made a difference. That really did. But it wasn't enough because it was the same Ivory Coast performance in extra time and Egypt themselves, again, causing problems. And it's just, it's, it's, it hurts because in midfield, we could have done more. And it's unfortunate that Frank Kessy himself had to get injured. And he was so, well, he was supposed to be instrumental for us, but we, goddamn, we missed him. We definitely missed Frank Kessy in the midfield because for him not being there, Ivory Coast couldn't control that midfield and create the chances. Egypt had, again, Egypt had the better chance. So I can't be too upset. Because I don't feel like we deserve to win. You guys know that for sure as well. You, I will fans, Egyptian fan, big up to you as well, guys. Mo Salah winning and scoring that penalty shoot. But yes, again, the pitch as well, horrible, by the way. I have to say the pitch is horrible. Tearing up. It really destroyed our football and the way we wanted to play. But that shouldn't be an excuse. Because at the end of the day, what chances did we create? Clear-cut chances. Only a few. But Egypt has so many chances opportunities. So they they deserve it, I'll be honest with you. Again, I was so happy when the Egyptian goalkeeper came off because he was a problem. We could have probably got a goal with the halal opportunity, which there wasn't many to say, I'll be honest with you. And then full time, the extra time. But penalties, again, Ivory Coast, everyone done well. Everyone scored a penalty except for the guy Eric by himself, lazy penalty. And again, 
we, he has let us down. He has let the nation down. He doesn't deserve abuse because he had a magnificent performance. It's a bit of a hot and cold situation with you, Eric Bailly. The more you shouldn't have it. Oh, my first. Uh, I'm so annoyed. But it is what it is. In terms of players, it's so unfortunate for Kessie to get injured. Seri Dia came on when he got into it at the first start. I thought he was horrendous. But then he got into it during the game. Sebastian Hala, poor performance, poor tournament, just one goal out of him. And I expected way more. But then again, the Ivorian players never fed him throughout all the games except for the game against Algeria. As well, Sangara did okay. Seri did okay. Jeremy Boga, when he came on the first few minutes, did good. So I don't know where his mind was. He was pissed off. He was upset for minute one as soon as he came on. He was straight up upset, arguing with himself, arguing with his own teammates. I don't know what's going on. But my oh my, he scored that penalty that we needed. So big ups to him. Man of the match today, guys, I have to be honest with you, got to go with Eric Bailly. I've already said it before. Donkey of the match, Sebastian Hello. <sighs> But my Ivory fans, Les Elephants, we have to wait until the next tournament and next qualifiers because we won't be in the World Cup. It's been a poor performance, in my opinion, in terms of tournament. Tournament has been poor. Um, the game 1 0 against the first game against Equatorial Guinea, joining against Sierra Leone, beating the champions, but then again, going against, going out in penalties against Egypt, a weak Egypt as well, not a strong Egypt. Only had Mohamed Salah. <sighs> It is what it is. For Manchester United fans, for those who are Ivorian and you support Manchester United, make sure you subscribe to this channel because this has been your match reaction. And my Ivorian fans, make sure you subscribe. I, I'm hurting. You're hurting. We just have to keep on moving on, bro. As always, guys, remember to follow the socials if you want to contribute to the channel. Remember the link is down in the link description. And of course, remember to keep it united. And let's end it Remember to keep it red united because boy oh boy, I'm out, I'm upset. I just can't do it anymore. We're out, Nigeria out, you know. These damn North African teams are a problem. Peace out, guys. Peace out.